so today I'm gonna do the if I could only keep one tag. Um, this was actually a little bit easier than I thought it was gonna be. This, these aren't necessarily my favorite products in my collection, but they are if I could only keep one thing from each category, this is what I would keep. And I have some things that are kind of like, you know, there's more than one things. My palette is kind of like an all-in-one palette. Um, I have a blush palette in here, so I'm cheating like a teeny tiny bit, but these, this would still be like kind of a smaller collection, maybe sort of, kind of. <laughs> so anyway, let's just get right into it, and I'm going to start out with my primer which is the Milani Prime Light Primer. I've tried a lot of primers before. I've tried high-end primers. I've tried drugstore primers. This is definitely my favorite. Um, it just works the best for my skin. It feels nice. It's nice and like moisturizing. It does kind of brighten up my skin a little bit too. And I just think it's a good one. So I would definitely pick this for my primer. And for foundation, obviously the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, this is definitely like a no fail product for me. It's really like nice and like it makes my skin look nice and healthy every day. I'm wearing all of these products on my face right now, by the way, too. So um, this is definitely like a good one. And um, yeah, it's just something that I like. And it, it works like even when I'm not having my best skin days, it still makes it look really nice and normal. <laughs> okay, so for concealer, I would keep the NYX uh, Correct and Conceal Color Corrector Palette. Um, and yeah, I just, I like this, using this more than I like using concealers. I just think it's a little bit better. Um, I don't know, a lot of times concealers can look dry under my eyes, so I just kind of like using like a color corrector and I think it just kind of works better. And um, yeah, I like this one a lot. It's easy to use. It's kind of affordable. Um, and it's nice, so yeah. It's not like kind of, I mean, it's a drugstore brand, but NYX is on the pricier end of drugstore brands, so I don't totally like to consider them a drugstore brand, but uh, yeah. For powder, I have my number seven powder. Um, This is just kind of the only powder I have right now, and I'm happy with it, so I might choose the e.l.f. one instead, just because this one is pricey. But um, I do like this powder. I, I have a pretty good mix of drugstore and high-end products in this uh in this thing, which I was actually kind of surprised about, because when I went into it thinking, I was like, okay, I'm probably just gonna have all high-end products, try to pick a few drugstore things, but then I was like, you know what? No, there's a lot from the drugstore that, like, if I could only keep one, like, that's what I would keep. So, but yeah, this, this is a nice product, you know, it's just, it's a loose powder, and I think that this is a good one. Setting spray, the Milani Make It Last. I also like the Smashbox Primer Water a lot, and um, I like the Evian Mist, but this actually does what it says it does. It makes it last. I think it does a good job at, like, making my foundation and everything stay on longer. Um, the first time that I really noticed this working was, like, when I went out one night, and um, it, I, it was hot. I was like sweating and I was it, like it was like a club type thing and um yeah this really helped my makeup stay on and this is definitely like the most affordable like setting spray that did that and it performed like the same as high-end setting sprays and um yeah I, I still do like the Smashbox primer water just because that's a good primer but I still like that Milani primer better so I would keep this and the Milani and I would keep them buy one get one half off maybe <laughs> so that's good. Okay, now we're on to slightly more interesting products. For contour, I would keep the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. I really like this. Um, it has highlighters and it has contours in it. This is um, kind of the only high-end uh, contour thing I have. I do kind of have another contour thing mixed in this, but you'll see what that is um, at the end because <laughs> that's, that's the exciting thing. Um, but yeah, this is just this, you know, it smells like chocolate. It's got a cream contour and a regular contour, and then four nice highlighters. But um, yeah, I use this today for the contour, and I think it's really good. And I do think that this is like my favorite contour palette, um, just because it has the highlights in it too, so I like that. Um, like I said, I'm kind of cheating here because some of these are like multi-purpose products, but this is still what I would keep if I could only keep one. For bronzers, I chose this L'Oreal Glam Bronze Bronzer. Um, there was no real reason behind this other than that this is like a nice like subtle like nice shimmery bronzer and I didn't want to keep like my Too Faced book of bronzers because that's like a whole bronzing palette 
and my physician's formula butter bronzer I also depotted. So like, you know, it's just, I don't know, this like packaging wise, this is better than the physician's formula butter bronzer, because that did just kind of fall out um, of the package. And uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't love the package of that. And you know, I, I did depot that, so I have it to use, but yeah, it's just, I wanted, if I'm only keeping one, I wanted something with a little bit easier access, and this L'Oreal Glam Bronze is really nice. I don't know if they still, like, have, I don't know if they have this out right now, but they had it out, like, last spring and summer, and then they brought it, or they had it out a couple of years ago for spring and summer, and then at my drugstore, they brought it out again this spring and summer so I'm thinking they'll bring it back out soon but uh yeah it's definitely worth picking up if you see it because it's just nice I have this on today and I think it gave like a nice little a nice little something something to the skin so I liked it out for blush this was kind of hard to pick um because like at first I was thinking of like the Milani blushes because I think the Milani baked blushes are my favorite but I couldn't decide on a color for that and then like I was just kind of looking through my blush drawers and I saw this and it's the Lorac Unzip Cheek Palette and I don't even think that they make this anymore but this is just like so nice and like the Lorac blush formulas are like some of the best. I have I think I put this one on today and like it just looks really nice and um sparkly uh two of these are sparkly I think these two are the sparkly ones these two are mattes. This one's very bright. Um, these are very pigmented, so just keep that in mind when you use them that, like, have, a, like, a light hand with them. But, uh, yeah, I just, I love this. And this blush, too, is just one of my favorites, so, yeah. Okay, so for highlight, this one might be my favorite, like, pick out of all of the things. It's this Halo uh, Custom Enhancer Drops from Cover FX. I have this on my cheekbones as a highlight today, and I love it. Um, I was thinking of putting on one of those, uh, or one of the Tarte um, highlights on top of it, but really, like, the Tarte palette I am picking because of the contours, and this I'm picking because it's a nice highlight. Um, it's just, it's really pretty, and I like mixing it in with my foundation, and I like using it on its own as a highlight. So this is definitely a favorite of mine and I would definitely keep this. Me like gripping onto it now, I'm like, you can't take it away from me. This is what I'm picking. <laughs> the eye primer I would choose is the Milani eye primer. This is just what works consistently with everything that I have. Um, it makes my shadows last a long time. It makes them look nice. It's inexpensive. And as you can tell, I really like Milani. They're one of my favorite, they're probably my favorite brand. So yeah, this is definitely what I would keep if I could only keep one. Now the exciting part, which palette would I keep if I could only keep one? And this was kind of difficult to choose. But you guys know, last month I used one palette for pretty much the whole month. And I thought, you know what, this has like everything I need in it. And this is definitely what I would keep. And it's the Smashbox Drawn In Decked Out Shadow Plus Blush Plus Contour um, palette. And I just, I really like it. It has all these nice shadows today. I'm wearing, um, what did I put on the lid? I think I put this on the lid. This, I started out in my crease and then I deepened it a little bit with this. I put that on the lid. I put this brown color in the outer corner. I put like a mix of these two in the outer corner. And then I just dabbed a little bit of this on top. And I think I used this in my inner corner. And it's just like, it's so pretty. Like, I feel like I get so many good looks from this palette. And like a lot of good neutral looks. And I do the same look basically when I use this a lot of the time. I'll either do this look or I'll do my lighter look that I put in a get ready with me. But I just, I love this palette. It's so nice. And um, yeah, I like the blushes and the contours and stuff too. I use this a little bit today to set my under eyes. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's an all around good palette. I would definitely recommend getting it. Now for eyeliner, I would pick this uh, NYX um, Jumbo Pencil and Yogurt. Um, I just kind of got this, so this is like a new pick. But I do really like these Jumbo Pencils. I could use this as a base if I wanted or like just under my eye and it stays in my waterline. It's nice and comfy and it's pretty easy to use. Um, I think I mentioned that like I started really liking these when I had like um, a hand injury or a finger injury and um, yeah it was just very easy to use because this is just sort of the best format to use for that so yeah I would use that. You can also probably see in my hand my mascara that I would pick 
is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Um, this just works. It lasts a long time on my lid, on my eyes. It doesn't really bother it. And um, I still think that It Cosmetics Superhero might be my favorite, but that smudges a little bit more easily. And I do love the Lash, Lash Princess Mascara from Essence, which is actually what I'm wearing today because I didn't want to open up this just yet. But um, yeah, the the Lash Paradise, the Lash Princess from Essence is also a favorite and that's what I'm wearing today. But this is just, this will last longer. This will, you know, it'll stay on my eyelashes longer. Okay, so it's a little while later. I forgot to mention um, my lip favorites. So first off, the lip liner that I would keep is Essence in the Nude. This is just a nice nude lip liner. It kind of goes with a lot of things and it goes with the lipstick that I would keep, which is MAC Whirl. Um, I just love this. My friend got this for me for Christmas and it just, it looks so good. It's like one of my favorite colors. I was between this and Bite Beauty's um, multi-stick in cashew, but I think I'll, I like this one a little bit better. Um, yeah, it's just, it's one of my favorites. I really love it. And um, the gloss I would keep would probably be this NARS um, Christopher Kane gloss. Um, I don't know what the color is, but this is an older collection. This is, you know, one of the first uh, high-end lip gloss purchases that I have. One of the first NARS, no. I had a couple NARS things from different Sephora favorite gifts, but I just, it's really nice and pigmented, and um, this is, you know, it's a nice, like, what you see is what you get type of color, so it would be a nice change from uh, this very nude look that I can get with uh, these other two products. So if I wanted to switch it up a little bit, I could use this if I could only keep one lip gloss. So I hope you guys like this tag. Um, I tag... Lisa, I tag Sherry Ward, I tag um, Terry Lee Nifty and Thrifty, um, who else do I, I tag so many people. Um, anybody that wants to do this tag, I know I'm forgetting to mention people. Uh, Beauty and Baseball, um, a lot of people. I, I just tag everybody that watches my channel and makes videos and everybody that watches this video and makes videos. So yeah, um, I hope you guys like this and I'll see you guys all later. Uh, bye. <laughs>